uh, we already have seen the example in arena related to the conveyor the first lesson which is the accumulating type but let's talk about a few different points what about if we want to define the length of the conveyor as well as the occupancy of the product on the conveyor okay as well as the speed of the conveyor let's see how to set up and this is an important 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 things we have to do before we set up the conveyor and it reflects the situation we have in our factory before we do this let's go to the powerpoint and i prepare a couple of slides related to this okay so if we have here uh, if a conveyor speed for example is four uh, meter per minute and unit are placed at four meters apart output rate is of course is one unit per minute in order to achieve a two units per minute output either double the conveyor speed or we uh, shorten the space between the units how they are placed on the conveyor we put them closer to each other okay so what about the output rate what's meant by output rate we have output rate is the same as cycle time is total time available على total output required so how much time we have per unit how much time as interval of time uh, allowable per unit so in a way we expect to say for example we expect to say a unit to see a unit exiting the system once every five minutes so that would be the output rate here one unit every five minutes or we expect to see like a unit exit in the system of every 10 minutes or three units exit in the system every one minute so that must be the same speed as the conveyor speed it should must be the same speed as the output rate or the cycle time which is the same word okay so for example if we say we set the output rate to one unit per minute okay so definitely the conveyor speed must be one meter per minute okay one meter per minute let's see an example about how to define the conveyor so if we have a conveyor here of length of 40 meter length okay and we must mention the point that in arena there's no unit of measurement as meter feet or uh, miles or kilometers so there is what's known in arena as unit of measurement which is the cells so we define 40 meter length okay as equal to 40 cells and I will show you the next slide so here we have the segment and the advanced transfer and we have the bias segment already defined as the example we did in lesson one about conveyor from the beginning stage to arrival station to the finish station we have 10 units of measurement and away 10 cells as well as we have here the velocity which is one cell per hour so for a unit to cross this from the beginning station to the ending station it requires 10 cells which is at the speed of one cell per hour okay and each box on the conveyor will occupy one cell okay one cell so the conveyor can uh, hold up to 10 units or 10 products okay so if you go back up one slide so we have here 40 meter length which is 40 cells we have to define and we have the four meter spacing between one unit and another and if your unit occupy one cells we could do it either one unit occupy one cells or four cells okay and we, we have to see how does it how does it seems in our example okay so if we go back to the arena conveyor example if we run it so i just have to mention a few points we have the segment of 10 cells and here in the access assembly we're saying that each unit will occupy four cells i'm gonna put this as one cell and show you what's the difference between the two and the conveyor speed is one cell per hour and here is one cell if i run this i would expect to see the products several products on the conveyor several products on gun they are here available on the access point they are thrown at the, the conveyor can take maximum of 10 cells at once okay they take maximum of 10 cells change this and i want to say the occupancy is 40 or 40 meter hour and here at five we need five cells on the conveyor so we have a here maximum cell occupied is eight 
exiting the conveyor is which is the same unit box cover or each bike and we have to exit five cells on the conveyor so save we expect to see maximum conveyor at once just want to show you the difference between the three if up to ten cells and the conveyor still as one okay. Each bicycle will take as on the conveyor. We run the program. We okay, maximum of three cells. and each passes okay so 